Hey, what's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use augmented reality to view 3D warehouse models in real world spaces in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so basically what this tool does is it allows you to pick a model in a 3D warehouse. So let's jump over to the 3D warehouse real quick and notice how they've added a button in here for view in AR or view in augmented reality. So what that's going to do is if you click on that, that's going to give you a QR code that you can scan on your phone. So um, usually the way this works, I have an iPhone, but usually the way this works is you just open up your camera app. And then when you open up your camera app and you scan that QR code, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you a link at the top of your page to open sketchup.com in, in my case, Safari. Um, but it's gonna give you a link to basically open this up on your phone. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you the ability to view that model inside of a 3D space. And so notice how I can come in here and I can move it around by clicking and holding my thumb on it. I can also rotate it by using um, two fingers and moving them around. And I can also pinch in order to resize the model. So you can use this in order to size your model up and figure out how it's gonna fit in a space. Um, so it's actually really cool in the sense that it gives you the ability to actually view that in the space. One of the things I like about it is it even seems to be casting a shadow on the ground, which is a pretty interesting feature as well. So um, I can see a lot of applications where this would be helpful. You can also take a photo so if you could see what something looked like in your space, you can click on the photo button in order to take a photo of that and then send it to somebody as well. Then there's also an option to click on the object button. And if you click on the object button, that's just gonna let you fly around the object that you're looking at. So you can click and drag that in order to view just the object as well as viewing it in augmented reality on your phone. All right, so I actually think that's an interesting little tool, especially the ability to actually place the models inside of your actual space. So um, I think it's something that's at least worth playing around with. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it if you've tried it. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.